Okay, so we have found centripetal acceleration formula AC equals to V square by R. We understand that AC equals to V square by R. So this is the circular path. Once again, this is the center of the circle. Our center of uh, the, at the center you have you have earth and this is the moon revolving around the earth. Then we understand that this is called radius and this is the velocity. See velocity arrow um, is nothing but tangential to the circle. It's called tangent, tangent to the circle and both are perpendicular. And I also told that displacement radius is also perpendicular to each other. Now coming to AC, I told you that AC is pointing towards the center of the circular path. So therefore, centripetal acceleration and velocity both are perpendicular to each other. So from these diagrams, you have to understand that centripetal acceleration AC is perpendicular to velocity. Of course, it is also perpendicular to displacement. And centripetal acceleration is always acting towards the center of the circle. And its unit is same in CGS, it is centimeters per second square. In SI, it is meter per second square. Now, from this centripetal acceleration, we can also derive another important physical quantity is called centripetal force. Now, centripetal force. Yep, C. So centripetal force is nothing but the force acting towards center of a circle. How the acceleration acting towards center of a circle, this force is also acting towards center of a circle. See, this is a circle, it's a center. And we discussed that this is the centripetal acceleration and centripetal force is also acting towards the center of the circle. And the question is why? And the answer is very simple. Which side the acceleration you have? In that side you have force. According to Newton's second law, F equals to Me. Suppose we know that Newton's second law, Newton's second law says F equal to M into A. The force acting on the mass. So, say so here is a mass m is there which is rotating in a circular path with acceleration ac and the force centripetal force fc and the fc formula is fc equal to m into ac according to the second law and ac formula already we have derived we know that ac is equals to v square by r so implies centripetal force equals to m v square by r so this is another important formula in circular motions. So, what I want to conclude that in uniform circular motions, velocity is the tangent of the circular path. Displacement is also tangential to the circular path. But acceleration is always pointing towards the circle as well as centripetal force is also acting towards the circle and centripetal force is mv squared by r. So we understand that centripetal force acting towards the center of the circle. Now we have so many applications of centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. Applications of centripetal force. One thing is very clear. Centripetal force is the force in the circular motions. But centripetal force never act directly. Some another some type of force acting like centripetal force means see this example sun at the example so this is the sun around the sun you have the earth rotating around it and we know that according to Newton's laws earth is rotating around the sun in the circular path because of sun attraction force on the earth and that attraction force we called as gravitational force or force of gravity fg i got to newton but here this fg is also acting towards the center of the circle therefore fg is also called centripetal force so
so in this in the sun earth system gravitational force gravitational force is equals to centripetal force remember this that's why i told you centripetal force you do not have directly some force is acting like centripetal force take another example this time nucleus electron system so this is nucleus around the nucleus you have electron revolving around the nucleus and we know that this electron is also having some attraction force towards the nucleus because nucleus is positive charge electron is having negative charge but this attraction force is not force of gravity this is called coulomb force or it is also called electrostatic force when you go to higher classes you are going to discuss about the electrostatic forces so electrostatic force is the attraction force between electron and nucleus and this electrostatic force is also acting towards the center of the circular path and it is nothing but centripetal force so here electrostatic force is equals to centripetal force now take another example to have better understanding a person standing on the ground holding a string having a stone and whirling the stone string system in a circular path like this whirling around so this is also a circular path that means this stone is also attracted towards the center and that attraction force here it is not fg it is not fe it is called tension tension in the string so here tension in the string acting like centripetal force so tension equals to centripetal force in this example let's see the last example is very important example for you there is a flat road or flat curved road if you see in the highways you have so many turnings a car is coming at very high speed and when it takes the circular turn immediately at the same speed there is a chance of slipping from its path and fall away from the road and leads to severe accidents so the car driver should be very expert to drive the car and make a circular turn with the same speed so to avoid the slipping of the car while taking the turns some force acts on the cars especially on the wheels of the cars what are they so this is the car so it is going to take a circular turn like this it's a flat circular road it taking a circular turn by taking a circular turn it is also a circular path so this is the center of the circular path and here also centripetal force acting on the car and it pulls the car centripetal force fc acting on the car pulls towards the center that's why when you take a circular sudden circular turn you can protect from slipping from the path and protect from the severe accidents now the question is which force acting like centripetal force here and the force is the force which is acting between road and wheels of the car what is that force you know that yes that force is frictional force so frictional force applies the necessary centripetal force to the car in the circular turn so that you can avoid the accidents nowadays to have more protection on the highway roads what engineers have done they are creating some banking to the roads banking of roads are nothing but at one side of the road is elevated compared to the other side so here the here is a flat road both are on the same level but in the banking of roads one level is raised up compared to the other side of the road so that you can protect the accident when taking a circular turn